and welcome back. Um, obviously I'm not in the same room, but that's because if you stay in that room too long, you do die. And that's actually how I ended the last game. So, uh, hold on, let's try and fix the audio here. Oh, nope, that's really loud. And there you go. Awesome. And that's still really loud. Turn it down. Thank you. Okay. No. Oh. Yep, so we continue. Um, looking at the map though. Okay. So that door is unlocked now. <sighs> and we take the elevator! Woohoo! Yuppers. Huh. Oh! Well, that one does it too. No surprise there. <laughs> Can you look at that? Hmm. Well, I guess I don't know what's over there. Um, we're on the second floor, right? Oh, wow. 32 and 35. I think. Let's try on the second floor. Can I go to the first floor? Awesome. Huh. <sighs> yep. So just basically going over and looking at the hospital. <laughs> Cause it's all screwed up now. Yes. Oh yeah. Wow. <laughs> Trying to avoid these. Which take a long time to kill. <gasps> oh my gosh! That is really creepy! And why the heck did you just focus on that when there's a freaking nurse right there? God, let go! Mark. I'm wasting so much ammunition right now. <laughs> that was creepy. I've never seen them walk that fast. Gosh. Jeepers! Um. Yeah, I'll just use that. Because I kind of have to. Oh wow, <laughs> look at she's dancing! Oh, that's righty! I don't understand, there's blood on here. Wouldn't the blood seep through the big old holes in the chain lead fence? Whatever. Hmm. Okay, hopefully those guys are dead out there, because if I go back out. Oh, spider webs. Nice. So, is there no point to this room? Oh, I guess not. Hmm. Nice. Oh. oh. I wanted to go through that door. And that one, too. And that one, also. Oh. Hmm. Um. I like this. <laughs> There's a memo here on the chart. Dr. Midkiff? Hmm. Please use extra caution with the patient in room 312. He should still have his religious freedom here in the hospital, but he shouldn't push his faith on others. I am a victim, too. Rumor has it he got here by stabbing someone over a religious dispute. Please be careful. Doc uh, R. Cosby. <laughs> P.S. It looks like the rumor is true, according to the head nurse. I do think he's a good person otherwise, though. Easy to deal with. Oh. I don't know who they're talking about. Let's see. I got an ample awesomeness. It looks like an operating table. There's a handful of dirty syringes on the bed. I'm not about what say I'm not about to use them, that's for sure. Good Heather. I guess I should say. <laughs> yeah. While I was in this room I did everything else, but I was thinking, should I save? Thank you all. Oh, it's an exam room. Hmm. Okay. I think... Didn't I check these? Yeah, I did. Hmm. Well, that scared the bejeebies out of me. Yes, that did. Ah. And I should have seen that coming. So did I check all the rooms? Oh, this is the f oh yeah, it is the first floor, right? Yes. So it's gonna be the same, just screwed up. <gasps> oh, 
awesome. Um, are they on this side or? Oh, that doesn't sound right. So I'm guessing they're on the other side. Hmm. Oh look, the world is teeming with unnecessary people. It's God's decision that I fight as a knight of honor, as a protector of the seal. I sacrifice myself to the blood of criminals. Huh. Assistant, I want to ask him. So you think you're one of the necessary ones? But it seems like I've heard this protector of the seal business somewhere before. Yeah, I'm sorry I just skipped the... I just skipped the first part of that book, because I would... <laughs> I had, like, no idea. Oh, can you see anything? Guess not. Oh well. Oh my god. Ugh. Oh, that's different. It's basically just going around this good old hush, but kind of covering ground. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Doo. Uh. Ow. Okay, floor number three. Woohoo! <sighs> Jeez. Was were we on the third floor? Oh, we were on the third floor. Oh, yeah, we were. Oh. Never mind. Yeah, that probably makes sense since we like climbed up that ladder. Second floor? Uh awesome. Oh, and it probably makes sense since we went down three floors when I went to the first. Yep. Oi. Well that's creepy. There's nothing over here. Yay! Oh my gosh. I think you can break this or something. Because I know you, there's something behind here. Like, look. There's stuff moving. There's totally something behind here. But I don't know how to get behind here. I think maybe you have to, like, have a better weapon or something. I don't know, but I'll definitely figure that out and put it in the extras if I don't figure it out. Because that's what's making that noise. There's something behind there, and it's bothering me. Oh. It's the telly. Answer it faster than the other phone. Of course, so we're going to lag and not answer it as quickly. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Who are you? Oh, okay, thanks. Happy birthday, dear. Who are you? Happy birthday to you. Happy 31st birthday. Is this Leonard? That's the murderer's name, not my name. Mm. I'm not your beloved Stanley either. He's underground now. His new name is Number Seven. <laughs> yeah. But don't worry about that now. It's time to celebrate your birthday. You've got me mistaken for someone else. Today's not my... I'm not mistaken. Today 
is your 24th birthday. And I have a present for you. Which do you prefer? To give pain or to receive it? You can have the one you hate the most. <laughs> Happy birthday to you! Hmm. But you're wrong. It's not my birthday. New Hallmark greetings. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I have no idea. Well, duh, this phone's not connected. But, what about the phone call? Yeah, I have no idea what that means. At all. I have really no idea how that has to do with the 